Uh, hello everybody and thanks for joining the NT product showcase. My name is Karen Smith and I'm the domestic distribution coordinator for Tourism NT. Today we are joined here today with Garrett by Gareth Coakley from Journey Beyond. So I'll hand you over to Gareth who will tell you more about his product. Thank you very much, Karen. So I'm here to talk to you today about uh, Journey Beyond and the products that we have uh, in the Northern Territory. Um, first, I just wanted to quickly touch on what we have around Australia, because as Journey Beyond, we are a range of, of products around Australia, um, but NT is probably one of our, our big focuses. So if you look at the map, uh, you can see starting down in Perth, we have Rottnest Express, which is a ferry service that operates between Perth, uh, Fremantle and Rottnest Island, as well as day touring on the island. Uh, we have a glamping property up at, called Salsalis at Ningaloo Reef, just out of Exmouth. Uh, Horizontal Fall of Seaplane Adventures is based out of Broome, operating planes and boats uh, to and from the Horizontal Falls. That one Harbour Cruises I will touch on uh, shortly. Uh, in the Whit Sundays, uh, based out of Ely Beach, we have Cruise Whit Sundays, which operates day tours and overnight products uh, to the Great Barrier Reef, Whitehaven, and also transfers between the various islands. Uh, in Sydney, uh, we have a product called Journey Beyond Cruise Sydney, which operates all-inclusive uh, lunch and dinners, uh, all-inclusive of meals and uh, drinks for lunch and dinner, at the moment four days a week, but traditionally six days a week. And then in Melbourne, uh, we have Eureka Sky Deck and Eureka 89, the restaurant. Uh, so that's a viewing platform uh, in the, one of the tallest towers in Melbourne. And then in terms of the trains, we have four trains. I'm going to talk to you about the GAN today. Uh, but we also have the Indian Pacific, which operates between Sydney and Perth, with an option to start or finish in Adelaide as well. Uh, we have the Great Southern, which goes uh, between Adelaide and Brisbane up the coast. Uh, and then also, which has just started re, uh, re-operating again uh, after COVID, is the Overland service, which operates between Adelaide and Melbourne. Slightly different to our other trains, it is a day train rather than being an overnight. Sorry, I should have clicked all that before. So in Darwin, we have a product called Darwin Harbour Cruises. As you can see in this image, that is Darwin CBD itself. And down the bottom, our vessel is parked. You can't quite see it in that, in that, on that pair at the bottom of the image. So it is just a short little while out of the CBD. You could walk there uh, if you're feeling fit and energetic. But with Darwin's traditional weather, uh, we do operate transfers, or you could uh, organise your own taxi there. It's about a, a full five-minute drive uh, from most of the hotels in Darwin CBD. I've got a quick video, which will show you what it looks and feels like. Uh, and then we'll talk a bit more about it. The Darwin Harbour Cruises is a uh, sunset cruise uh, on Darwin Harbour, operating uh, from February till December. It look, can be a little bit dependent based on the wet seasons. It may start slightly earlier, start slightly later, and same with the finishing, uh, dependent on the weather and the busyness of Darwin at the time. Currently, we are due to start operating in the first weekend of February for this year. Uh, apart from Stoke Hill Wharf, you can do two products. One is a sunset dinner cruise, and one is just a sunset cruise. Uh, the, the difference between them is whether or not you have a meal included and where you are based on the vessel. Uh, there is commentary, uh, very, very interesting commentary going through the history of, of Darwin itself. Uh, but the main thing you're going for, um, for a lot of people, is the sunset over the water 
Um, it is always a sunset over the water. Darwin Harbour is very nice and calm and relaxing as well. It's a really, really nice way to see Darwin from a completely different angle uh, than you're able to, uh, obviously, on land. Uh, here is uh, a few shots of the vessel. Uh, it is a catamaran, uh, three levels. Uh, two levels for seating and dining, and then a top level uh, open deck um, where we can seat people or we will use it as a communal area where people can wander around. Uh, you can choose to be seated inside or outside, uh, depending on whether you want air conditioning or you want to be outside in the in the cool uh, the evening air. Uh, it will depend traditionally on the time of year uh, as to what is most popular. In the early months and late months of the year, people want to be inside in the air conditioning where it's a little bit cooler. Uh, during the, the winter months or the dry season months, people would enjoy to be outside. It's a nice, cool time of year. There isn't that humidity, and it's a, it's a, you don't have to be inside. There's no need for the air conditioning as such. Um, not only do we offer a, a, a buffet-style dinner, but not a traditional buffet. It is rather a shared plate system with the group that you are traveling with. So if you're traveling with a group of two or four, you'll have uh, shared plates on the table for that particular group rather than everyone going up and getting the food out of uh, Bay Marie, uh, which is currently what I'm able to do due to COVID restrictions. We do also have a second vessel uh, called the Tumlaren. Uh, this is for private charters. We only put it out for private charters. Uh, it's suitable for groups of up to 40 people. Um, basically, the itinerary can be exactly what you want it to be. There is, uh, we can include uh, a chef for you to cook. There is a barbecue on board. You can cook yourself. A uh, range of different options, but if you've got a group traveling up to Darwin, a really, really neat little experience um, and, and not too many options in market like this. So really, really cool, unique offer, um, but only goes out for those exclusive charters. In order to get up to Darwin, the best way we recommend is via the GAN. Uh, as you can see in that video, uh, we operate uh, two products. One is the traditional GAN service, which is a three-day, two-night service, which operates southbound um, for 10 months of the year from February until November, and it operates northbound uh, for two to three months of the year, over February, Mar uh, March, and into November. Uh, and then the rest of the year, southbound, we have what is called the GAN Expedition. So the big difference with the Expedition Service, this is our um, unique product in that it's four days and three nights. Uh, so what we're able to do with that extra night is we get a little bit more time to stop along the way. So for example, in Alice Springs, rather than being there for a half day, we're there for a full day. Uh, the train will arrive in the morning, uh, you have touring, which will include lunch. In the afternoon, you have time to come back uh, to the train, get refreshed, and then we do dinner at the telegraph station. Dinner under the stars. Uh, you're traveling traditionally during the dry season for the expedition service, so it's a perfect time of year to do some stargazing. Uh, there's a live band as well. Um, it's a really, really unique uh, Australian-style barbecue dinner um, under the stars. The other option here is you can also go um, have organized a scenic flight to Uluru, um, which is an optional upgrade we do include. It's the only way to get to Uluru uh, with us on board the GAN without actually getting off the train and spending time in Alice Springs. Um, once leaving Alice Springs and heading south, the next stop, which is unique for the GAN, is Cooper Pedy. The only way for us to go, get to Cooper Pedy, and for a lot of people in general, uh, to get to Cooper Pedy is via the GAN expedition. Uh, it is quite a difficult place and quite remote to get to, uh, so it's a unique selling point as well for the GAN expedition. As I said before, when does the GAN operate? Uh, the GAN operates from February till November. 
Uh, that's for South, uh, for the northbound service. The GAN is always operating as long as uh, that season is, that's February to November. The south part of the traditional three day, two night GAN uh, is the three of those months February, March, and November. And then outside of those months, the GAN expedition will operate, which is April to October, um, traveling on the four day, three night service. It does cost a little bit extra to do the GAN expedition. However, when you look at it as a price per day, it is a lot better value for money, and it is traditionally the option uh, most of our guests look to go for if they can find the availability in there. So the the um, peak season, which for us is May to August, the GAN actually operates twice a week. So traditionally, the GAN will operate once a week in each direction, uh, but over May to August, we put it on a second departure, and that means the GAN will operate in each direction twice a week, increasing and basically doubling our availability. Uh, so um, the reason for that is that is our high season. That is the best time to travel into the Northern Territory. So that's when we find most people want to travel. Hence, we put on the extra departures to cater for that extra time. In terms of what the train looks like, uh, we've got two levels of service on the train. Both are all inclusive uh, of their meals, drinks, and touring. Because uh, remember, with the, with the trains, uh, we do include off-train experiences. Just like you were on a cruise ship, you have shore excursions. We have off-train experiences. Um, the difference is they're included in the cost of the fare. All your drinks, as I said before, included, and also three meals a day. Uh, in gold service, you'll be getting uh, three courses for all those meals. Our premium service is platinum. Uh, again, platinum is our all uh, is all inclusive. It is just the next tier up. So the major difference is the cabin. The cabin is about three times the size of a gold class cabin. Again, they do both have en suites on them. Uh, the Platinum Cabin uh, on suite is just slightly larger than the Gold. They have access to the Platinum Club, which is an exclusive uh, lounge and dining area for Platinum guests. Um, and they have five courses for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they have uh, the next tier up in terms of uh, champagne uh, available to them or you know, spirits, et cetera. So it's just that one tier up in, in, in service and availability. Um, but it is a lot harder to get Platinum because there's a lot less Platinum Cabins available. Um, so if you have guests looking, uh, we do recommend um, being flexible with dates in order to find availability in Platinum Pass for them. Uh, again, I've got, I've got another video for you here which will run you through the differences between Platinum and Gold. Journey Beyond are the proud operators of the GAN. Indian Pacific, Great Southern, and the Overland. All our journeys differ in destinations and experiences, with the same exceptional service on board. The GAN, Indian Pacific, and Great Southern journeys are all inclusive of off-train excursions, fine wines, beverages, and dining. For the discerning traveler, Platinum Service adds an enhanced level of sophistication to the journey. Stylishly appointed, spacious suites with full-size ensuite. Expansive window views from both sides of the train and exclusive use of the Platinum Club carriage. By day, the cabin is configured as a private lounge with deluxe seating, a table and two ottomans. By night, the lounge converts to a comfortable bedroom with either a double or twin bed. Exclusive to Platinum guests, the Platinum Club offers a daytime lounge setting with adaptable dining options for either small or larger groups. The Platinum hosts will be available to serve drinks, cocktails and barista coffee. Our highly experienced onboard culinary teams work closely with local suppliers, farmers and providors, sourcing the finest ingredients to create innovative, regionally inspired menus accompanied by all-inclusive fine wines and beverages. The Outback Explorer Lounge is the social hub for gold service guests. The perfect setting to get to know fellow travellers, enjoy a beverage or a snack, and catch glimpses of the passing landscapes through the wide picture windows. Regionally inspired fine wines and dining is all included in the fare. We serve our three course meals in the Queen Adelaide restaurant. Gold service twin cabins are the most popular level of service on board. The private cabin features an ensuite and a three-seater lounge where guests can relax and watch the world go by. At night, the lounge converts to an upper and lower sleeping berth. 
Our Gold Service Single Cabins are the perfect option for a solo traveller. They feature a single seated chair and table during the day and at night a single bed. For guests with mobility restrictions, Gold Access Cabins are available on request. For more details, please contact our travel centre, your local travel agent or visit our website. And that is um, what the train looks like on board. Uh, it gives you a good understanding of the size of the cabins, uh, the range of the, the size of the uh, en suites, as well as the differences between platinum and gold and the different cabin styles. Remember, we do also have gold single cabins, which are ideal for that single traveller. The big selling point of the single cabin is that it is the same price per person to have a gold single cabin as it would be if you were sharing that gold twin with somebody else. Um, that is, for a single traveller, is a big, big selling point. The biggest um, annoyance for a single traveller is having to pay that single supplement. The biggest difference, though, with the single cabin versus a twin cabin is they don't have an ensuite bathroom. Uh, so they do use a, a shared bathroom facility. Uh, so that is something for obviously to make sure your, your clients are aware of if they're looking to buy the gold single cabin. You can still book a single supplement for a gold twin cabin if that is what they choose. However, we, we find a lot of people are very, very happy with that single option um, and, and willing to use a shared facility. So that is everything I've got for you today. Uh, my contact details are available uh, here on the, on the slide. You're more than welcome to email me with any questions or queries you might have. And I can pass it on to your rel the relevant uh, person, or if it is myself, I can happily deal with it. Um, I personally look after the New South Wales and ACT uh, agents, uh, but we have the team looking after all the different agents across Australia. Uh, and the, the information, et cetera, with, for this PowerPoint will be available um, for you to access. Uh, but if there's any extra questions or queries you have, please don't hesitate. Thank you. Great, thanks, Gareth. That was really interesting. I'm sure that the GAN is definitely on everybody's to-do list. Yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, as Gareth said, his details are on the screen if you've got any questions about the GAN. Um, and thank you very much for joining us. So we'll see you all again soon.